I'm Dr. Calvin Ezrin. I'm a practicing and research endocrinologist for the past 50 years. For further details about my career, you can consult my website, which is Dr. D -O -C -T -O -R, Ezrin.com. I'm here to deliver an alarming message to the public, not only in America, but also the world, that we are in the grip of a <coughs> threatening diabetes and obesity epidemic. It's getting worse by the decade. In the past 30 years, it's become <clears throat> so obvious that unless something is done about it, many, many young people will become diabetic and are becoming diabetic, and they will suffer the complications that ultimately will cause them to <clears throat> die earlier than their parents. This is the first time in history that children have been expected or would be expected to die sooner than their parents because of their early onset of the kind of diabetes that's related to obesity. Now, over the years, we have been struggling with the conventional uh, recommendations for weight control, namely diet and exercise. And they have been <coughs> disappointing to the extent that almost nobody can a long-term uh, effect of successful treatment, even if there's an initial weight loss to start with, it doesn't last. And the concern has been that nowadays the only reasonable treatment for severe life-threatening diabetes is actually something called bariatric surgery, where <coughs> surgical procedures are done to limit the amount of food that the uh, body can absorb safely. However, this is effective, but not always free of complications. So uh, what have we physicians been missing in this approach to diabetes going back for so many years that has not proven to be in any event <coughs> successful? and nowadays even more threatening because of factors that perhaps we can identify. There have been recent uh, reports that poor sleep is associated with overweight, and these have been confirmed in multiple studies. So it's now said, quite correctly, that if you want to lose weight, that you should improve your sleep. But the means to do this is not laid out. That is, it's not just a matter of finding a sleeping pill and getting more help from it. We're going to give you, in the subsequent presentations, more, uh, more details about how this can work, how we can help with the sleep problem and also help at the same time to keep your weight under control and being lost at the rate that would be uh, appropriate for continued good health. So, on this uh, high note, I'm going to leave you with the promise that you will get some help from the subsequent presentations that will be worth your while.